whatever you are, Lauren. Seven bucks each. No. Hello, my name is Mike. I'm the man with the video camera, or in this case, in front of the video camera. And I hope you like my awesome as heck cooking, cook, cooking day video. Today, we are going to make what is known in Missouri as a meat donut. Don't ask me why, but this is an old recipe that I got when I was hanging out in St. Louis. The first thing, oh, hold on, let me get my eggs. Excuse me. The first thing that you're going to need is a chicken egg. Not an ostrich egg, but a chicken egg. Let's try that again. Take your egg and crack it gently this time into the mixing bowl. Stir that side up. If you wait for one more second, I need to wash my hands. We don't need to get salmonella on everything else. Excuse me. The next thing you're going to add is a cup or a half a cup of flour. Some salt. Spilled a bit. Some pepper. And as they say in Mexico, actually, I don't know what they say in Mexico, but we'll just call this sugar. Give that sucker a big stir. So it looks something like this. Don't forget the meat. <laughs> That's the most important part of a meat donut would be the meat. Take your summer sausage, your blood sausage, your deer sausage, or your man sausage, and cut it up into square blo blocks. It smells like Wisconsin. <laughs> into the bowl with the donut mixture and mix that sucker up. What? What did you say? You're kidding me. You know what my meat donut just told me? You're the bee's knees. Because it knows the best chef in town is. I once did a cooking tour in um, some of America's greatest cities. Um, Flint, Michigan. Uh, Gary, Indiana, East St. Louis, Illinois, and right here in wonderful St. Paul, Minnesota. The mixture should now then look something like this. What you're going to do is then is grab a clear glass pan to bake it in. Whoa, psychedelic. Kind of reminds me of the 70s when I would go to St. West Roller Rink and wear my brown silk shirt and my corduroy pants and stand over on the side during the snowball dance. And the Bee Gees would come on and, how deep is your love? But none of the girls wanted to dance with me. But I bet they, I bet they wish they did now because they would be with someone extraordinarily famous. The bees knees. <laughs> Once you put it all in a big ball and throw it in your pan, it should look something like this. So, the meat donut is now ready to go into the oven. And we're gonna take a cut. Do you really? Motherfucker, the set's a fucking mess. The fucking water's full of fucking shit. The fucking meat's fucking warm and fucked up and you tell me this is how we're supposed to fucking do this fucking shit. Fuck, it's all fucked up all the time. Uh, Myron? What? Uh, 
Myron, we're on. What? We're, we're on again. Oh. The next thing that we do then is that we put it in the pan like this. And then we have a preheated oven to 350 degrees Celsius Fahrenheit. And we're going to put that in and make a beautiful brown. Uh. Where did that come from? Whew. Boy, must have been those white castles. And we're going to put this in the oven for 18 and a half minutes and come up with the beautiful golden brown meat donut. In the old days, you were worth your weight in gold. Yeah, just like leather Tuscadero. I'm going to put this in for 18 and a half minutes. Oven at 350 degrees. And watch it cook. Still cooking. Or should I say baking? We'll be back after this commercial. Break. The fucking Danikers! Fine foods and liquor since 1912! I'm fucking... I'm gonna take the fucking meat donut out of the fucking oven! The oh, fuck? I'm gonna take the fucking meat donut out of the fucking oven! What the fuck? It's all fucking golden brown like a motherfucker! I'm gonna bring that shit over here. Fucking meat donut. Look at the fucking hole. It's so fucking hot. Look at the fucking hole. This has been cooking with King of Meat. Mm. Rock on. From our King of Meat.